Okay, let's 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 get started with this. Let's let's get started with this thing. Um, we started conservative, right? We started conservative. We played one copy. Couldn't get a hold of the copies in the early in the early times. It's fine. Whatever. Played <laughs> played a couple more in this sideboard. Okay, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Today we're doing like this. Today we go all in. Today we go all in on Cultivator Colossus. Um, so we're gonna see how this bad boy uh, works out. So we're gonna be seeing it a lot more often now. And, <laughs> and our curve got slightly, slightly uh, larger. So there's also that. Um, I also made a couple of adjustments. I added another copy of Castle Garenbrig because, you know, we're gonna have more uh, fatties now. So want to make sure that we can cast them in time and um, Ancient Tomb really helps a lot in terms of uh, doing that. Uh, also, you know, two copies of Cavern of Souls, cards very important right now in the format, so having access to two copies seems inter it seems very, very uh, key. Um, that's pretty, mu pretty much it. One thing that I had to cut was the Tolerio West, since now we have like eight massive threats, and that's not counting the four summoners back, so uh, yeah, I think that we'll be fine with one less Tolerio West, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, just see how it goes. I have I don't know what to expect here. Um, I expect to have a lot of colossal turns. That's all I'm gonna say. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And let's just dive in, man. I just wanna I just wanna see what happens here. All right, let's see this. Gigantha the Wellspring. So if this is strong, this hand is. Okay, if this is affinity, this hand is probably not good. I'm gonna hedge towards Strawn. Because I wanna keep this hand. When would a Colossus be better than a Titan? Uh, when you have multiple lands in hand and an amulet in play. So what Colossus does is it allows you to, after you're doing the Colossus thing, you can still do a Titan thing. Right, if you have an amulet in play, you can just go over the top of anything else. I'm just gonna lose to Tron again. Am I really about to lose to Tron twice in the same in the same day? <laughs> I didn't even think that this was possible. It looks like I am. Okay. I mean, if they go for coding, I have a shot. The only problem is I have to play the Dryad, and if they have Sundry Titan in the cyborg, then I, I lose there, but... Worth cutting Karn though, they are both extra threats, one gives you cyber slots back, but Karn can find silver bullets. Yeah, both of them have their different upsides and downsides. What is the lore before, behind Karn? Why is he liberated? I don't know. What is Karn supposed to go for here, not coding? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess they are supposed to go for it, but... Yeah, it just, it just doesn't do anything right here. Like, they probably just have to go for it, but like, it's it's not useful this turn. And if I find an amulet off the top, we just win. Uh, do we just win? Uh, actually, maybe not. Maybe we're some mana short. So there's amulet. Vestige. All right, so they need something else. Uh, what with what they have, it's not enough. They're going to need like um, something big. Like if they if they play worm call, I just don't care, right? So they're gonna need to go to either have. 
yeah, if they have the Colossus, we uh, I, we're actually yeah, we're we're not even. Yeah, that's not even the worst. I mean, I guess it kind of is because Karn kind of has 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 us in a little bit of a pickle here. My opponent should coding right now. Yeah, opponent's on top of it. So now they have to blow up the castle. Oblivion Stone, Scrying. Whatever this is, this looks bad for me. It is indeed bad for me. <laughs> it is indeed bad for me. Is there anything I can draw? Asusa, second amulet. Second amulet was the pickup. Let's think here. Ugh. My opponent's gonna blow up my land here. Yeah, we're dead. At this point, there's just no permutation that I can that I can do that gets me there. Um, ghost quarter. We have Karn, maybe I want a second force. Eh, on the draw, no. On the play, maybe I'll, I'll switch things up. Let's just... But on the play, I think this is fine. We'll play a tournament tomorrow. Can I get your advice? Play with four Karn or no Karn list? Which is better now? What cards can miss on the side with Karn? I I mean, it, it depends on your metagame. Like, I, I keep saying this over and over again, but there's no list that it's better than the other list. It's just like... What do you want to be doing? Like, what is the metagame that you expect? And just knowing what cards matter and in which, um, like, in which context each version is of the deck is better. And as far as the cyborg goes, it's just don't go too ham on it. Like, it's as long as you keep it minimal. I, I, I much rather have access to the cards that I care about than having access to a random one offs that I will never go for. Play run and semi, you can't go wrong with that card. I think that's bait. Pretty sure that's bait. <laughs> um, don't play run and seven. How good is the new Titan? Uh, are you talking about um, this guy? He's being kind of clunky um, in this list, at least. But this is probably not the list for it. So we're keeping this, and I guess I'm bottoming the Gracer. Play that turn one, no fear of Force of Vigor whatsoever. I just go back to back trophies with it. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Like, it's just. I'm just talking about what I feel about the card. And it feels like it's clunky in the amounts. Like I'm, I'm stress testing it right now, right? Like I'm playing four copies, and I think that four copies is not the number. I'm not saying the card is bad. Like I've been impressed by the card. I think the card is actually quite solid, but it's not a four copies kind of card. Or if you were talking about rand, then you're just me mean with me. So that's also fine. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Dramatic star. Dramatic star. Now what? That's a that's a lot of noise, huh? All right, so opponent got the expedition map. Um, here we're just gonna get another amulet. Yeah, cultivator is not even that good right here, right? And I'm gonna chill on this Toleria West because that's one more draw. Really hoping my opponent doesn't have another nature's claim for this, but Or dismember for the Azusa. Or at least they they dismember the Dryad instead of dismembering the Azusa. Are you buckled up, chat? Are you buckled up? Because we're about to... We're about to jump onto... Onto this stratosphere. Oh, definitely not doing that. Hmm... I think we do this. Ah, here we go. Uh, yeah, I think that was pretty good. I think maybe that qualifies as pretty good. I don't know. I mean, who am I really to say, you know? Was that fun? I don't know. I, I kind of had fun there. <laughs> I kind of had fun there. Um, That was cool. That was cool. The fact that it turns all of your lands into actual cards is it's a really big deal. But yeah, we saw how it actually changed our patterns, right? Like instead of me going for development, I have to assess, okay, I can't go for my opponent amuleting, right? Uh, for my opponent blowing up my amulet. So I just have to accept that I'm going to lose if that happens. And I just have to hold on to my land because that's one more draw whenever I, I do resolve this, this Colossus if I do. So I think because of that, it's, you know, it's one of the things that we're just going to have to get used to it. Media, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Um... But uh, yeah, it's one of those things. One of those things that it's going to kind of like take a little bit of getting used to, uh, to the new sequencing and stuff. 
Always happy when bad things happen to Tron. Yeah, that's two of us. Okay, what is this? Uh, I mean, if this hand draws a bounce land, it's fantastic. I think I'm keeping it though, because I have the T-Wiz, so I can trust me it for it. And I'm gonna go turn one T-Wiz, because maybe I want to use green man on the following turn. So we just gotta find a a bounce line. Like if we find the bounce line, we're just gonna be good to go. Okay. Easy game, easy life. Honestly, it's just unlucky that I'm not able to... Wait, am I able to? I think I'm, I'm able to just cast the Colossus here. No, we're one land short. One mana short of casting the Colossus. Honestly, it's just unlucky. It's just very, very unlucky if you think about it. I mean, I could YOLO here, like I could go back for Azusa, play Azusa, <laughs> and actually cast the Colossus, but then I'm only drawing two cards and then I, I'm dying on my next upkeep, so that's probably not a great thing to be doing, so. So I don't think anything they can do matters here. Like land nature's claim maybe, but then that means that they don't answer my dryads. No die and we can pay for pact. Uh, we're gonna be bouncing the same bounce land over and over again, right? So um, that's just not true. I'm only, I'm only gonna have two lands. I mean, I can lock sack, right? Yeah, like we would need to hit lands off the top. We need to hit two lands. And I guess one land would be enough. So this is basically free to cast, which is really funny to think about. Never mind, this actually nets mana. <laughs> Good old seven mana ramp spell, huh? Good old seven mana ramp spell. I think we are in garbage time right now. I was gonna to I was going to pack for another Colossus because we were we were in super garbage time there, but that was funny. Yeah, it was definitely a little bit win more here. Like, I could have just packed it for Titan and just killed my opponent, but this was just way more fun. <laughs> See you next round. All right, here we go. Uh, we're playing against Demonic Tutors. Uh, this is not a good hand. This is a significantly better hand. So we're going to keep this one. Um, I think I want to bottom the forest as opposed to the second Titan. Basic forest. Okay. All right. Maybe I should have played Saga there. Yeah, maybe I should have played Saga there. Cavernous Souls. Color me intrigued. What are they gonna name? Werewolf. They name Werewolf. Uh-oh. 
I'm not in the business of casting spells, so this is gonna flip. Putting in a one drop too. Dude, this is gonna kill me. Let's have some big boys. Okay. That's probably one of the worst draws in my entire deck. So that's cool. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He's out of cards. Out of cards. Now what? I think I chump. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. They're gonna get another token. Yeah, I think I have to chump here. Cause so we're going down to seven now. And maybe I can assemble. I mean, I can just draw a bounce land. That would be great. No bounce land though. Since there's no bounce land. Oh, did I miscount? And we go into three. Wait. Oh, because this tramples and I'm an idiot. That's why. Uh, so I'm dead now? Yeah, we're dead. Nice clean cyber thing there. Um, maybe endurances? They just line up well against my opponent's threats. Maybe one liberator. Let's see how do we typically cyber versus the werewolf matchups, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I imagine they're going to have like forces and stuff, right? For games two and three. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Mono green werewolf. I have the explosives. I don't think I want the liberator. Better add mono green to the next cyber guide. I mean, if it's gonna be a format staple, I have to stay on top of the format, right? Gotta stay on top of the modern th the modern trends. Oh, they will have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, Liberator is a beating against us. Like, you can violate it on turn two, and if I didn't play a spell on turn two, then it's going to, my opponent's going to be able to untap and just have it, like, have it flipped. That's something that you can also do off of Court of Calling, which is super sweet. You just get Liberator in their end step, and if they didn't play a spell, you untap with the thing flipped because of how Daybound works as opposed to the original, um, the original Werewolf mechanic. So, pretty sweet, pretty good stuff. Mm. Yeah, this is fine. Finally, a good hand, awesome. Um, playing against Dr. Queller, so we're very likely playing against Spirits here. So we can go turn one Saga, go. Spirits it is. 
let's go with this we're gonna name giant maybe I should have named oh no this is just lethal never mind So play amulet. I think I'm going to play around Path to Exile. And there's like I think there's like a four spike. So maybe I should have played the cavern on human instead of going for cavern on giant. They're just off it. Okay. So we like those. We like these. Probably want these. Unclear though. Unclear about the Cavern of Souls. They could have like, there's a new counter spell that is cheaper if you control a flyer or something like that. So they may be playing something like that, but I doubt it. Still gonna hedge by bringing in one of the caverns. Gracer seems surprisingly fantastic against them. Just a very happy coincidence. I wonder if they're playing something like Spreading Seas. Move to six. Yeah, ship it. Um, this is better. I think I'm sending the summoners back to here. We get to turn one gracer. Any land allows me to get value from Masusa, and if we have a bounce land, then we're we're feeling like a million bucks. Easy. So easy. Okay, so no spreading seas is good for me, obviously. I'm gonna go for giant and pass the turn. I guess I could have gone for a human there. Yeah, I could I should have probably resolved the Asusa there and made a token on this turn instead. I think that could have been better. Oh, that's how we roll, I guess. <laughs> poor, poor Dr. Queller. Poor Dr. Queller. But sometimes, sometimes it's just not in the cards, you know? Unless I'm getting subtlety, in which case they are going to... If we get subtlety, then they have no cards in hand. <clears throat> oh, I stacked my triggers wrong. Doesn't really matter, but I did stack my triggers like an idiot. Um, this plays around Solitude very nicely. 
which I'm not sure my opponent could afford to play, but even if they are, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, that second amulet draw was, was overkill. I was already in a good spot, and then I was just in the best spot. You love to see it. Huh. Okay. So that means I can't kill them. I honestly forgot about the onboard trick. Um, sure, I guess we play on. So, Teleria West and Valakut. So now we get to kill either the Shacklegeist or the, the Supreme Phantom, either of which is fine. But yeah, honestly, here I just I just literally forgot that this was a card. I'm not gonna leave myself dead to Damping Sphere there, right? I mean, I got mad respect for my opponent who's still battling over there. <laughs> I think at this point we're too far ahead, unless they somehow are playing any sort of Wrath. And even if they are, Ursa Saga just enables me to like get everything going again. All right, sweet. At least we got it. We got a nice, nice one out of the way. All right, keep. Keep in the blind. Turn two amulet. Turn two Asusa plus. I guess we don't expedition map. This doesn't look bad though. Just gotta draw a threat. But as soon as we do, we should be good to go. Even if the amulet gets destroyed, it's not even that big of a deal. So we're probably playing a mirror match, I would assume. We kinda need a blue source. So that I can turn that. Oh, never, never mind. <laughs> um, never mind. Stack my triggers wrong, but it doesn't matter because I was going to to develop mana here anyways. So it's no big deal. Uh, knowing that I'm playing the mirror now, I'm just gonna be mana efficient and play the play the expedition map right there. The wild thing here is if my opponent has a double amulet draw, then they can outrace my amulet Asusa Titan draw. Which is pretty crazy to think about, right? Pretty crazy, pretty, pretty crazy. Does the second Titan do anything at all for me? I can cast it. But it doesn't really help me. Um, I can haste. And then I'm missing a Valakut. So actually, I don't want to expose the second Titan. I actively don't want to play it. 
because um, I don't want it to die to Yeah, this is fine. I don't want it to die to my opponent just, you know, uh, going off uh, with double amulet and just killing my... Just killing my Titan. Because next turn I have it set up so that I can Expedition Map for Simic Growth Chamber, Growth Chamber, Bounce, Play, play um, Dryad, and then just kill them from there. Opponent's off it, so we're good to go. But I think it was correct for me to set it up uh, to set it up that way. So these are good, these are probably not good, that's fine, that's not, that's not. I think it's, the, I suspect it's the mirror and my opponent was just playing a random snow forest. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I'm assuming it's a mirror. There's no other deck in the format that can go turn one. Um, definitely keeping this because of the force. Uh, there's no other really, not really any other deck in the format that can go turn one saga and like be okay with it. Like, and that be a good play. Like, it's just not very common. Um. Do I want to play slow? I don't think I want to play it slow. Not playing around break the ice. <laughs> Anything for me? I think I'm pitching Asusa here. Dried is worse against my opponent's force. But I think it's fine. The, the issue that why I have to kill the amulets there is that if they have a bounce on, they can actually just tighten me. So I, I, I'm forced to blow up the amulets there, like I don't really have a choice. Well, super sad that I that I shipped the Asusa now, because with that Castle Garenbrick top deck, now I could I could uh, tighten the following turn if I had Asusa, but pretty rough. Opponent with the bounce land. They don't have Titan mana just yet. They're still missing a second green. So they could have Titan mana next turn. Yeah, I should have held on to the Asusa. I think we do it anyway. Hmm. I think I messed this up. Should have led on crumbling vestige, not on this. They got the force. Okay. But now by doing it like that, I forced my opponent into forcing uh, without killing my dryad, right? 
because of how I sequence my stuff. And we know that they have only one unknown card. And now I'm left with a Dryad, which means that I pay for my Pact here. It's no big deal. Uh, yeah, I think I can just play that out. It's fine. Even if they force me here, it's it's really not that big of a deal. Then I can still just tighten them next turn, so I might as well just you know play the dry the saga one turn before. So if their last card in hand is a land that helps us cast helps them cast Titan and the Titan, then we still win, I think. <laughs> okay, so the last hand the last card is Primeval Titan, apparently. Is it? It's not. Okay, cool. So we win. So this is actually lethal, I think. Yeah, this is actually lethal. And I'm going for it here because I have perfect information, like they have no cards in hand. Always yes, always yes, always healed. So we know that my Dryad's good to go. Boom! Beat in the mirror. Colossus, fantastic in this matchup as we just saw. <laughs> See you last round. All right, last round of the day. Um, not a keepable hand. Yes, a keepable hand. Nick DC Sachs, thank you for the follow. I think this is what we do. Turn one, turn two, play amulet, then play this, play both amulets. I think so. <laughs> so, hoping to dodge Thoughtseize, but if we do, we're probably looking pretty good. Even if my opponent has Inquisition, and that's that's the reason to, to bottom the land as opposed to one of the amulets is Inquisition. Even if they have Inquisition, if I draw any land at all, I'm just well set up for a turn three Titan. Oh, this is Mill. Oh, okay, so we're dead. We're actually just dead. Can't win. Literally, the game cannot be won anymore. This is only fair, to be honest, for me to get paired in my last round against Mill. It's just justice. Can we please play quickly, opponent? You're gonna beat me, just do it quickly. Just do it quickly, so I can move on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is Mill bad for us here? Because uh, the matchup is unwinnable for, for this deck, like just by design. Uh, our entire deck is built around having cards in the deck, right? If you don't have the cards, the necessary cards in the deck, then uh, the power level of the deck goes down significantly. And not only that, but there's also the fact that they are playing main deck surgical extraction and main deck surgical extraction is also pretty bad for us for a variety of reasons namely the fact that we are building our entire deck list around this bad boy and surgical extraction uh, gets it so mail is no bueno mm. 
Mill is no bueno. And here, like, I have to make a, a choice, right? Like, my if my opponent has Archive Trap, and they get the stuff that I get, that they can, um, the problem is if I go for T-West Growth Chamber, we may actually get blown out. If I go for actual lethal, I think I, I probably have to do it. Because if I swing for 20, my opponent, like, it, we're, we're not dead. They're not dead, I mean. So yeah, if they if they have Archive Trap, we actually lose here. If, I guess if they have Ar Archive Trap plus Surgical, I guess. But... So there are a variety of ways in which this can go poorly for me. But again, I think that I have to YOLO this. Combo deck. Clearly. Okay, it looks like my opponent just doesn't have it. Unless I am about to get got by the Black Force. Which would honestly be kind of cool to get got by the Black Force here. Where are you at on con right now? I think it's fantastic. <laughs> Asusa was feeling frisky. She wanted to join the party. Asusa wanted to join the party. And she was, of course, invited. She's a good gal. Float. 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 <laughs> when Asusa get mad, get out of the way. Yeah, Susa is not messing around. Sun home, and I guess get an Ursa Saga. So. Literally doesn't matter what the other land is. Also, why is my opponent making me click through all of this? Just F6, right? <laughs> you can just F6 and we move on. All right, triple endurance. Relic, caverns. I guess a ghost quarter. And I think that's it. Is Cultivator a real thing or only the hype as Turn Timber Symbiosis? Um, I think Cultivator is pretty solid. I think it's actually quite good. Um, but I don't think it's a 4 off. I don't think that Explosives is good enough. Also, Explosives on 1 blows up my amulet, which is one of the few ways that I actually get to get under them. I could play like 1 to transmute 4, but... Like, this is not an actively good card against Mill. Which puts, puts us in a weird spot. None of our cards are really particularly great against Mill, to be honest. <laughs> I guess Endurance is the only one. So Endurance will need to... Yeah, Endurance will need to, uh, to lead the way here. Endurance is basically Cultivator Colossus in reverse. It's the same art. Sa exact same art. Look at it. They're just facing each other. 
Who will win in a fight? Yeah, I think that bog is, is not... Like, it's okay if you're... Like, I'd rather just... Like, it's not a good way to play around Surgical, is what I'm saying. Which is the card that I'm the most concerned about. Uh, this is not good enough. We could we could do the strategic the strategic mulligan to, so we have more cards in the deck, right? Uh, I'm actually gonna keep this hand. Okay, so bottom the sun home, and we can go turn one grazer. Whoops. There we go. Um. Name beast. We're we're low key setting up our cultivator colossus, you know. Setting up the uncounterable colossus. Let's go. Okay, so opponents indeed playing blue black. Every now and then you see like some blue white versions of mill. Those are not very popular though. Bounce land? Ah, okay, I'll take that. Go squatter. Go. Count counter my stuff if I don't play anything. Ha ha ha, got him. Don't feel me. Don't feel me. That's the one that they blow up. Really? Very interesting. Okay, so their hand is like a bunch of counter spells, right? Future Gracers are too scary. Yeah, I guess. So we're getting we're getting surgical here, extirpated or whatever. Let's see what they get. The amulet. Okay. They take the one from my hand, which is not great. But at the same time, I don't care about the amulets. And they already used an extra page. So I'm, I'm, I still have the relic that I can go fetch. Because the expedition map is gone. Gonna have to deliver the construct beat down. I don't think I want to relic anything just yet. One, two, three. We still have two. It's because I can pact for endurance. But I obviously have to make sure that I can pay for that pact. That's really nice. That's a very, very nice top deck. Well, we may actually win this game. Drown the lock, a coin truth. Wow. Okay. I guess we're not winning this game. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe we are not winning this game, I guess. Ecoin Truth. I could play around Surgical by... Uh, I play around Extirpate, I mean, by uh, Pactine for another Endurance there. We still have two Forests in the deck. Nothing. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm playing it slow. Like that's the strategy that I'm going for here. They do know about the pact and they do know about endurance. So You recommend I add a land. Great recommendation. Jim with the raid. Thank you so much for that, uh, Jim. Welcome everybody from Jim's stream. We are, we're cultivating. <laughs> we're growing plants over here. Just out here chilling, growing some plants. How did your stream go, man? What were you up to today? I have to pack the Reich now because I can't have my two endurances get milled. Was MTG Aing, but then it blew up mid draft, so I played some modern. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Have you been playing some modern, uh, Jane, lately? What have you been. What have you been playing in modern? Uh, we don't need to fetch. Um, it's probably like, I guess it would have been a good idea to fetch there because we, like my opponent's archive trap is already, it's already used. Um, uh, okay, so we're gonna fetch here and then I guess that I'm going to endurance, pitch in, Pitching the Colossus, I think. My opponent may counterspell here. How's Colossus doing in the game? Um, played Hammer Time and SG Colon in a 4k. Oh, nice. Yeah, Hammer Time is, is good. Um, So I'm just going to crack Relic, which is obviously pretty bad when my plan is to Endurance, but now the Endurance can shuffle itself back in, and I'm dying anyway. Oh, I'm, I'm an, I stacked my triggers wrong. Oh, damn it. Ugh, that sucks. Uh, well, the, the the idea was to you know shuffle the endurance back into the deck there, as I said, but I stacked my triggers wrong. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Colossus has been doing okay. Um, I am kind of stress testing it a little bit right now, and I'm playing four copies, and it's very much not a four copies kind of card. Man, like that that misclick is going to 
is going to be punishing. We're all in on this saga and these dudes. Maybe I should have hold, held on to the Colossus. We lose to like a Basilion. Think he's here, right? To be fair, this is a very common mistake. Not very intuitive. Yeah, yeah, but like I, you know, it's just annoying because I literally said what I was going to do, and then I did the exact opposite. <laughs> That's the part that is kind of annoying. Uh, okay. I don't have any Valakids left, so that's not an option anymore. What can Primeval Titan find me? All the Colossus are gone. There's still one Endurance in the deck. If they fetch, I'm going to go Squad of the Avoro in response for what's worth. I mean, I guess it's just the 6-6. Six, six. One. One, two, three, four. Castle. Um, do I have Vestige? Because if I have Vestige, I can... No, Vestige is gone. So I can't make a token and Titan. How's it going, Jeff? Okay, so we're kind of running low on things to do. Definitely got to get rid of the Avoro there. and Because otherwise my opponent can start like replaying it and stuff. Uh, yeah, not, not shuffling back the Endurance is going to come back to bite me. I know it. <laughs> I just know it. I'm just going to keep both all of those cards in there. I don't think my opponent's last card in hand is, uh, is Archive Trap, so that's why I fetched anyway. Also, Archive Trap is, is unstoppable because I'm going to be, I'm gonna be uh, fetching off Saga, so... So we need my opponent to not draw spells and not draw lands. Seems easy enough. Seems easy enough. No spells and no lands. That's Alurus. That's not bad at all, actually, because the Endurance is still in the deck. Hell yeah. Play Dryad. Swing. And here I actually want the endurance to die. So I even if I could cut I could have had cast the endurance if I didn't cast the triad. I actively want the endurance to die so I can shuffle itself again. So we don't make the same mistake again, and I'm gonna stack my triggers properly this time. Fetch endurance. Have the push resolve. So, this target me, then the evoke trigger. Okay, cool. Figure it out.
So now there's two endurances in the deck. And we're hoping this <laughs> this silly 6-6 six six goes the distance. Yeah, I'll take three. That's fine. Swing. Now we have Sagas in the deck. So this time around, I am actually going to fetch so we can get some Sagas. Uh-huh. There we go. If they top deck exactly Archive Trap, c'est la vie, you know? Like, that's, that's how it goes sometimes, but... We need another thing? Yeah, yeah, that's... This is another thing. <laughs> this is two and other things. I know, I know that Lurus is a messed up card. I am very well aware. So that was our draw step. One endurance gone. And the other one's still in the deck. But we lose to the draw 14, uh, to the mill 14, sorry. We lose to hideous laughter. We lose to like a million things here. Okay. Make a token, make a token. So I may as well do this. Now we don't fetch. Make a token. Hope that you don't have another Equine Truth. I mean, they are dead next turn. Is it correct to let Gracer die, add one more card for Endurance, shuffle back? Yeah, yeah, it's possible, but at the same time... Um, it's, it's kind of awkward, right, because I don't have another Endurance. Can we get there? Can we get there? Yes! Ooh! Beating Mill for the 4-0. The dream! The absolute dream. All right, final thoughts on this. Uh, I don't think that 4 is the number that I want of this card. Um, it was My hands were a lot clunkier with this bad boy in the mix, so I think that we kind of want to make sure that we smooth that out a little bit. No, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, so that's definitely number one. I don't think I want four of these bad boys. I think I want three at most. Maybe the correct number could just be two. I think that it's one at least. I think it's one or more that I want to have in the 75 at least for the time being. But it's definitely not four. Um, so this leaves us room for either explore, which could f uh, further help set up, set up our draws. We could play something like a relic in the main deck. Um, also, do we want to revert the mana base, right? Like, cause I did cut one of these tolerary ways to make room for for the uh, extra castle Garen bricks. And uh, there's the possibility now that I want to bring the, the T-West back. I definitely want two caverns main, two caverns cyber, that part's fine. Um, so maybe we can do something like that. And then just like in my source explorer, just kind of to round out the deck. More than, 
more than because I actively won the card, it's, it's more of a, I just want to round out the deck kind of deal. Could you talk about Liberator versus Foundation Breaker? Uh, it's, it's pretty simple. This kills Torpor Orb, and Foundation Breaker doesn't. That's it. That's the only thing. That's the only reason why I'm playing this card and not the other one. So there, there's not really that much to it. Like it, it's not like Yogg. Uh, it's not like Yogmoth where you know you can core on your opponent's sense step and then you untap with the Liberator. That's already flipped and you get a lot of value that way. We don't get to make those kind of plays. So Liberator is just, it's just a, a pactable way to answer Moon and it's a pactable way to answer Torpor as well. So. I think this is where I want to go. I could see another copy in the sideboard. It doesn't feel awful as a main deck card, but it kind of feels like it's 45% main deck card, 55% sideboard card. So maybe what we can do is we can do something like this. Throw that in the board. And cut the explore and add Bujuki Bog to the main deck. I could see doing something like this. I could see doing something like this. This seems cleaner to me. Did I try Bridge with Colossus version? I, I think Bridge is just unplayable. Bog main seems called Digital Yeah, I mean, it's it's still, like, okay. Like, it's still a bad land, right? It's still just a bad land that you don't want to draw ever. So, like, there is some cost to having it in the main deck, but it's land number 34 in this deck list. So, like, the, the more lands that you play, the more actual lands that tap for mana that do the stuff that you want that you play, the more that, uh, you know, you can feel free to add a Bujuki Bow or something like that. It's not really going to mess you up. Uh, but again, like, as, as everybody knows, or at least most people should know, the mana base for this deck is just a mess, right? Like, the, the mana base is... You're playing 34 lands, but that is because, like, a bunch of your lands just don't tap for green. <laughs> All of these lands don't tap for green. So, when you actually think about it, like, you don't really have that many green sources. Right, and we're, we're playing triple green and quadruple, like... We only have 20 lands at tap for green, and our, our green requirements are pretty steep. And that is counting cavernous source as a green source, which it is for these purposes, but it's not for that purpose. So that's, you know, that's something else that you want to keep in mind. Uh, but this seems like a fine place to, to go for now. Um, this, this seems like a fine way to go for now. Um... Yeah, I like this card. I like it. I, I will definitely continue playing with it. I, I'm not done. I'm not done with it. So definitely will continue playing with it. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.